in the crib playing with Legos. I was out there trying to get blocks. Mama gone, daddy gone, just me and my hood dog. Shoe whooping, beamed up, like a motherfucker don't play baseball. Before you ever heard about Jeezy boy, I was already on some trap or die. What's the goal? What was cool? You can still see the bang in my eye. What you know about sitting in the jail cell? Felonies, murder case, best friend, bro do Hey everybody, it's your boy Paul Picasso Sterling again coming to you from Picasso Entertainment 014. You know, we're doing our thing for our Lord God right now. I'm just about here letting y'all know about uh, uh, a nice little app that I found that's very useful for any device. Okay, and this app is called Solid Explorer. Now the app has had recent updates, so um, it is doing very well. Alright, let's get into that. Okay, now sorry, the camera's giving me a little bit of color issue there. Okay, so we're gonna get right into that. So here we go. Um, I saw it explore. And we want a solid explore. Now, Solid Explorer, of course, it starts out like your regular, uh, you know, file explorer, right? It gives you, you do have a lot of options down here below. Now, what's cool about this is that uh, it's very easy and handy to jump to your SD card or transfer files to and from your SD card. Of course, here, starting off, we have the new button where, of course, one click of the new button, you get the the option to create a new folder, a new file, uh, so forth, you know, if you're not uh, very uh, tech savvy, you don't really have to mess with a lot of stuff, because of course you can get into something, maybe accidentally delete something that, you know, is necessary to the phone. Uh, of course, you got actions here where you're able to cut, copy, paste, delete, uh, multi-select, select all, all of that sort of thing here. Now, of course, you have the menu, settings, search, view, manage bookmarks, file sharings, and exit, of course, to exit the application. Now, as I was saying, to get to your SD card and being able to transfer things to and from your SD card, you can easily just grab, just uh, basically touch the screen at the edge of the screen and just, oh, sorry, that was a long press. So you just want to just, there you go, and you're able to slide across. Now, of course, it still says internal memory, but uh, to do that, all you'd have to do now is actually come down here to where it says jump, and you just want to hit the jump, and when you hit jump, you're going to locate device, and from there, you are able to set this window to your SD card. So from your SD card to get back to your other, to the internal memory, just again swipe. Now the great thing about this app, it is, uh, I think it functions a little better in landscape. So now in landscape mode, you actually have the SD card on the right and your internal memory on the left. Now simple, say you want to transfer something, I'll just grab something very light here. Now to transfer something, basically, on the icon or even the folders you can just simply tap once and it will be selected okay so you can actually do that and multi select as well if you don't want to select all so now once you do have that check mark on the app that you would like to just simply and you don't even have to check mark it to be honest the check mark is mainly to select more than one a file folder or application so of course this is an APK file so I'm just going to press and hold the APK file and I'm e easily able to just drag it and drop. Now once you drop it it's not going to go into any particular folder there as you can see it's right there it will only go into a folder if let's do this again drag if you hold it over the folder icon then the folder will kind of expand a little bit and then it will that is where the APK will go so you'll open that and oh, sorry to open without selecting all you have to do is just tap on it uh, now that's not where it went it went into this one okay it looks like it did there we go 
Nope, that's not it. Okay, well that's how you do it basically. Oh, I don't think it actually went into the folder. You can always open the folder and of course just drag and drop there as well. Uh, and of course same thing with the folders now one good thing about this as well you are able to extract so as you can see I have two zip files here so now if you press and hold on to the application you will get the menu and as you can see because it is a zip file I, I do get the um, option to extract or to extract here so that's the next thing good about this. I have used Astro File Manager. Um, was a big fan, of course, until I met uh, Solid Explorer. Now, Solid Explorer has Solid Explorer Beta, which is the first one. And then there is Solid Explorer, uh, I think it's two. And uh, that now it's the trial and then the paid uh, unlocker okay so of course I didn't uh, I'd rather not pay I mean it's available for free uh, the app the trial and the unlocker uh, I again I just get my apps from Black Mart okay no license verification needed or anything like that uh, no ads it's just there and ready to go uh, to delete again you know you check mark and once it's highlighted you get the option here where you can cut, copy, paste, select all, share, and you just go ahead and hit delete, and you get the confirmation, and say, yes, I want to delete, and there we go. And that's it. Now, when you tap aside, if you were to press the back button, you would go back for that side, right? So, you tap the back button for whichever side you're on, and that's the side that will go back. And then to exit, it will just it will actually tell you press once again to exit and then you press again and there you exit okay folks and there you have it uh, that's my review on solid explorer um, oh uh, quickly just before I go I actually did remember one thing about solid explorer you are also able to change the theme of solid explorer uh, to do that, you'd have to go into menu, and then you go into settings. And when you go into settings, now there's appearance at the top. Click appearance, then you have the theme. And for right now, it does only have the light and the dark. So once you change that, you just want to go back, and there you go. Now Solid Explorer is in the dark theme. Okay. And that's basically it for Solid Explorer, folks. It is a great app. I mean, there's a lot of other uh, technical things that I didn't get into, but um, by all means, you know, get the app. If you feel like paying for it, uh, you can get it in the Play Store. If you don't feel like paying for it, uh, you can always hit up Black Mart. Uh, that's where I go for my things, folks. Okay, so this has been another session with uh, your homeboy, Paul Picasso Sterling, coming to you from Picasso Entertainment 014. All right, everybody, I'm out for now. God bless. Peace.